Welcome to another episode of Health Serve Training. And in today's episode, we'll be putting you through on how to use Health Serve electronic health record as a pharmacist to attend to your patients. And uh, in this training, we assume you already have your professional ID. So since you already have your professional, professional ID, you when you ar arrive at HealthServe platform, which you can access at healthserve.org, you click login and uh, you'll be at the login interface. When you arrive at the login interface as you have right now, you key in your professional ID, just as I'm doing now, and then you enter the institutional ID. What this basically means is the organization where you render your professional service. It can be community pharmacy, it can be a hospital, or any other organization where you render your professional service. They must have their institutional ID. You key in their institutional ID here, and you're good to go. You click login. So when you click login, you will arrive on your dashboard and that displays more like the summary of all you have done before now so and to attend to your patient on mobile device if you click on this circle with three horizontal line it will display the menu on the sidebar but even without clicking this icon you can still identify what you want to do using the symbols on the screen so to attend to patient this Heart shape represent attend to patient, but if I, if I expand it, you can see that it represent attend to patient. But without expanding it, I can say assess it by clicking the heart shape. When I click on it, it will display options available to attend to patient. And on top of the options we have here is a attend to patient via fingerprint. We are not going to use this in this particular training session. Then there's also attend to patient via existing OTP. There's also attend to patient via SMS OTP and attend to patient via credential. In this particular training, we'll be looking at how to attend to patient via credential and what you need to assess the patient folder. So you click get started. When you do that, the system will open the interface for you to access the patient folder via credential and to do this you have to enter the patient user id so you key in the patient user id which is what i have here i'm doing just that then you key in the password You click verify so if your values are right you should be able to assess the patient record at this time and you can see we have already retrieved the patient record using credential you can see the patient bio data the passport of the patient the health data the data of nest of kin and moving further, you can see all that has taken place in this patient folder in the like of medication, history, and medical history. And after reviewing the patient medical history and medication history, to be informed of what has happened in this patient medical history, you can now proceed by clicking create new record, which is at the top of the page. When you click create new record the system will take you to where you can capture all your documentation for all that you did for this patient so at this time you can now if this patient comes with hard copy prescription you can use this prescription tool to 
convert it to digital format. But if the patient has already seen a physician who has called, who has prescribed drug for the patient using this solution, you don't need to do all that. All you need to do is to see the prescription which will already be displayed on the screen. You do costing for the prescription and of course you probably have to do prescription assessment and evaluation. So at the point of costing, you have to state what is the unit price for the drug prescribed or included in the prescription. Then how many quantity of the medication will be required to fill the prescription. So you state the quantity. The same thing applies to other medications in the prescription. When you do all that, the system will automatically give you your grand total. And for you to now relay this grand total to the account department to collect the bill, you use billing tool. So you click add item and then you scroll up at the you, you put the name of the item in the bill. In this case, is medication. Medication, and then the this patient does not have health insurance. So that one thousand five hundred will have in the in the costing will be paid out of pocket. So when you do all that, you click add item, and that is done. So moving further, we have used the billing tool. It's now pharmaceutical care. At the pharmaceutical care section, you have to document the subjective subjective data. Next is objective data. Then following that is the point of care assessment. Another other point of care assessment, you have to document medication indication. Now this is more like you telling us what this medications and the prescription is meant to address for the patient. And then next to that is drug therapy problem. Let us have an idea what you anticipate as the actual and potential drug therapy problem that may arise from this prescription. And then in your pharmaceutical care plan, you let us know how you intend to address the problems. And moving further in your intervention and recommendations, you tell us what you have done to address the problem you have identified and which you have come up with a plan in the uh, pharmaceutical care plan and uh, next is pathology and counseling and here you'll be telling the patient how to use this medication and what to do and what not to do to optimize the expected clinical outcome next to that is referral tool if there is need for this patient to be referred you have to use this referral tool to do that but if you have a, a existing format where you use letterhead paper to write your referral, you can as well do that and then scan and upload here. Next to that is appointment tool. You state the date for the next appointment by clicking on the window and it will play this calendar. And you can use the calendar to set when the patient should come by clicking on the date in the calendar. And then the next is appointment time if you want to specify the time behind you come for the appointment you can as well do that and you can see the clock displayed on the screen you can use that to state the time maybe if it's been going to come by 10 a.m you can do that and it's set and then what is the purpose for coming you can as well do that so if it's for follow-up you can state that it's for follow-up management and then that is basically all you need to do at this stage of documentation but there are more of what you can do with health staff but in today's episode we are basically looking at what can you do with health staff documented tool as a pharmacist and we have drawn justice to that so at this point you need to click save documentation to now file this documentation in the patient's folder where you, you saw medication and medical history before now so you click on save documentation and the system has successfully filed your documentation in the system and um, that is all we have to do in today's episode in subsequent session we'll be looking at other ways you can use health serve system to optimize your patient care and then render more or deliver more value to your patient thank you for watching see you in the next episode